week also we're gonna talk about leadership but more about you know good leadership versus bad leadership how good leadership is different from bad leadership or knowing uh, more about good leadership you need to know more about bad leadership as well so last time we discussed leadership and what make what are the qualities of leadership the, the traits of good leadership but we're gonna talk more about bad leadership as well so knowing you know more about bad leadership uh, you know inform us about good leadership as well so not doing to you know not having those traits of bad leadership we can um, you know uh, experience the qualities of good leadership okay so let's talk about that uh, you know good leadership uh, versus bad leadership okay so when we talk about leadership i mean the last time we define what leadership is but this time i'm just you know quoting these ideas from these uh, articles available online so uh, just take a look at um, okay that's the source i got this article from uh, so when we talk about leadership uh, it, it means to lead a group of people or an organization. Uh, but effective leadership uh, might mean executing the company's vision, uh, maybe even updating it or using their social influence to organize the efforts of the employees to work together for the vision. So, you know, to make their vision uh, or the, their dreams come true, uh, the leader always work with the team uh, and, you know, with through cooperation, co-optation and coordination. Okay. So these are the things a leader can do uh, and that is what leadership means. When we talk about leadership, the idea of good leadership uh, you know, comes into play. Uh, but when we have to define good leadership, we also need to understand what bad leadership is. Uh, bad leadership uh, has been defined um, in the paragraph, you can read there. Uh, so most of the, uh, the, the bad leadership, you know, the, the idea of bad leadership is you know, the emerge from a lack of communication. When a leader cannot communicate with the team, with the group, with the people, uh, you know, in organization or outside the organization, you know, cannot communicate properly or effectively, you know, the other organization fails or, or, you know, he cannot disseminate other ideas quite effectively and then the things cannot get done. Okay, so that's why, the you know, so again, when we understand bad leadership, that means a lack of communication, for example, here in this paragraph, means you must be very clear in communication, uh, what defines good leadership, right? So that's how we need to understand, you know, um, based on bad leadership, how we can be a good leader, okay? So those, this is uh, one, one of the things, uh, you know, we want to highlight in this, uh, you know, the, uh, the class, I mean, in this, uh, you know, the video as well. So talking about, uh, you know, the, um, again, the good leadership, um, let's talk about good leadership here. Um, when we talk about good leadership, we have already discussed a lot about leadership. Um, uh, you know, a leader must be honest and innovative, uh, you know, must have self-confidence, um, should be capable, uh, you know, in decision making and should be able to take the responsibility and account be accountable to what he does or, or, or she does or what, you know, his people in the in the team or in the organization, um, you know, do. Should be positive, guided by the positive thinking, should have empathy and then empowering, uh, you know, should be always empowering uh, his uh, people, uh, you know, around in an organization, okay? So even there are so many other, you know, the, uh, the qualities that come into play when you talk about good leadership, but the focus is on bad leadership and knowing the bad leadership, we would, uh, you know, that, you know, we would uh, be able to uh, understand more about good leadership as well. So let's talk about, again, the, uh, you know, the bad leadership now. So talking about bad leadership, you see, these are some of the, the qualities of bad leadership. Uh, let me uh, enlarge this now here. I mean, these are the traits of, let's say they're not qualities, but the traits of bad leadership. So, you know, someone who is not uh, good in leadership, okay, doesn't have a good, uh, you know, the leadership quality, then that means probably the person has lack of adaptability and transparency, um, cannot, you know, communicate clearly, not consistent with what he, what he says and what he does, um, you know, perhaps doesn't have empathy with others, or maybe, you know, if some mistakes is made and then, you know, he tends to play a blame game that it's not what I did, but rather it's you did it. But in a good leadership, they would rather, you know, take a leader would rather take a responsibility and will be accountable for uh, what he or she has done or even anyone in the team might have done. Okay. 
So also uh, in bad leadership, always a leader tries to avoid conflict, but in good leader leadership, you know, the person would uh, be willing to learn something from the conflict because conflict sometimes in the organizations, you know, um, you know, uh, improves the, the, the conditions of the organization. It's always helpful for the longevity of the organization as well. So conflict is, at, you know, most of the time very useful if it is guided by the positive, you know, conflict. And again, in bad leadership, a leader has a lack of ambition and there is no clear vision. And again, the leader, you know, acts like I know everything kind of attitude. So which is what we should not have, uh, you know, in a good leadership uh, if you want your organization or institution to grow. And again, in bad leadership, they, you know, they lose customer focus because they are more like self-centered um, and do not uh, focus on customer. And then again, you know, in, in bad leadership, the person will not have, be able to create sort of harmony within the organization. So when there is no harmony, then the organization cannot grow. Okay. So these are the points. So knowing about the, these traits of bad leadership, we can, you know, that always inform good leadership as well. So we will have to try our best to, you know, make our leadership uh, much more effective as well. Okay. So, all right. So this is what I wanted to tell you and talk about good leadership versus bad leadership. There are so many other points out there and you can also find the ideas from the readings I posted to the view for this week as well. So, but I would like to briefly give you an overview of this book, um, Organization Theories. I think you cannot say properly, but the book is Organization Theories and Public Administration a critical annotated bibliography. I co-edited this book. This book basically is a collection of annotated bibliographies on, um, you know, on the articles, uh, uh, you know, related to uh, organization theories and public administration. So here is also a chapter leadership and that has more than, I think, 20, 25 articles. Um, uh, and I have uh, provided, a, you know, a critical uh, summary, an uh, overview of each article. Um, including good leadership, bad leadership, and all kinds of leadership. Perhaps, you know, some most of the articles in this book might be very useful uh, for those who are in public leadership program or, you know, the organization theory class or public administration. If they have to write an academic paper or a research paper, they would be able to find out which article tells what or what kind of articles we have and what do they talk about, um, you know, um, on the topic of leadership or organization theory or public administration. I just wanted to give you an uh, 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 you know, some, some, I wanted to share some information. So, you know, that can be this, this, you know, this book can be a, a good, a great reference. It can be used as a reference as well. So, all right. So if you have any questions or thoughts or even, even more, few more ideas that you might want to drop, just, uh, you know, just drop your comments there below and let me know what you think. Okay. Thank you.